adverb of frequency talks about how often the action is done. Adverbs of degree tell us about the intensity or degree of an action or something that happens. Hello, hi, namaste and welcome to Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. I am Nanda Kishore, Faculty of English in Vidyashram, Mysore. In my previous session, I had discussed about adverbs and I have already spoken about three types of adverbs. In today's session, I am going to continue and discuss other types of adverbs and I am also going to discuss about previous years question paper. So let us start and know about other types of adverbs in today's session. So what are adverbs? Let me just give you a quick recap. Adverbs describe verbs and modify adjectives and other adverbs. Adverbs can also modify phrases, clauses and sentences. Usually and most of the times adverbs answer one of the following questions when, where, why, how, under what conditions and to what extent. So types of adverbs I've already discussed adverb of manner which means in what way a, a person or a thing takes place. Manner, he walked very slowly. Slowly is a manner. How is he walking? He is walking slowly. What type of manner? Adverb of time. He is standing there now. Maybe he would not stand there later. Now and later are two adverbs. Now, adverb of time, adverb of place. He is standing there. There, where? He is standing there. He is standing in the bus stand. Where is he standing? It is usually questioning. Adverb is showing. It is, he is standing in the bus stand. Adverb of place. And now, in today's session, I am going to discuss these four since I have already discussed first three types of adverbs in my previous session. So what is this adverbs of frequency? What is the adverb of frequency? Some adverbs and adverbs phrases answer the question how often an action is done. Hege yes to bari, how often? Frequent agi martha idara, atwa tumba time kottu martha idara. I have been telling you I am going to speak both in English and in Canada as well for the better understanding. So adverb of frequency talks about how often the action is done. The first one is the children always love to play games. Think about it. Always is the adverb of frequency. Always. How often do they want to play every day? Do they want to play once in a week? Or do they want to play once in a while? But if you ask them to play always, no matter whether they want to play every single day, maybe the single day or once in a week, you ask them to play, they would just go on playing. Next one, the sapling will never grow strong. Will never. How frequently? Will never grow. Why it will not grow? Maybe some cattle, they are eating up its roots, its leaves, its flowers. So it will never grow strong if somebody is coming and stamping on the sapling. Sapling is a small plant, small seed, right? Which has just got a sprout and it, which, which is coming up. And you keep stamping on it, it would never grow strong. I watch cereal every day. I watch opera every day. I don't even want to miss even a single day. Yes, there are a lot of women where they would just sit, take up the remote, right, at, at 7 o'clock and they would go on watching till 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock at night. Every day. That drops me to school twice a week. So how often, we are talking about how often will the dad drop the daughter or the son to the school. It is twice a week. Let us move on to adverbs of degree. Adverbs of degree tell us about the intensity or degree of an action or something that happens. The level of intensity. Adverb of degree. Here are some examples. They are extremely tired. They are tired is, yes of course they are tired but the level of degree adverb extremely 
extremely shows the level of intensity there. I am very tired. I am tired is different. I am very tired is different. Let me just tell you one more trick or tips to identify adverbs. Usually, they will end with the word ly. This is the usual trick which is taught in lower segments or lower sections. In your school days maybe, possibly taught with the same idea or rule. But remember, it is not just that all the words or all the adverbs would not end up with ly. Just like very. It depends on the context. It depends on which types of adverbs you are learning. Third one, the idea is completely stupid or stupid, however you want to pronounce it. The idea is completely stupid or stupid. Idea is stupid is different, is completely the level of intensity. So it is like in-depth intensity. He is really a tall guy. He is a tall guy is different. He is really a tall guy is telling or it's conveying a message saying that he really is, he truly is a tall guy. It was a fairly interesting book. Fairly, I would say, like, you know, average, I would say. It is not not very interesting. No. Like, very too interesting. No. It is fairly interesting, I would say. Out of 5, I would rate it above 2 to 2.5. That is all. Fairly interesting book. So, the next... Adverb is interrogative adverbs. If you don't know the meaning of interrogative or interrogation, it's nothing but questioning. The question mark. And as the concept itself says, it is about questioning. Adverbs that are used to ask questions about time, place, number, manner, quantity, and reason are called interrogative adverbs. Here are some examples. So usually you know five W's and one H. We call it why, when, where, who, what and how. So we usually use five W's and one H. How was the book? Interrogative. When will the program begin? Where is the new bike? Why aren't you listening to me? But in your examination, they would ask you simply to underline the adverbs in the sentence, which I will be discussing very shortly. The last one, the last type of adverbs, remember there are only four or five main types, but I have added two more types of adverbs to be on a safer side. So conjunctive or conjunctive adverbs are the adverbs which are going to join. Those are joining adverbs. Conjunctive adverbs are the words that connect two independent clauses. So if you don't know the meaning of clause, what is a clause then? A clause is a group of words with a subject and a verb and verb unit. Here are some examples. I told you conjunctive, those are joining adverbs. Think about it. John was struggling in the beginning. Eventually, so this is a conjunctive, is, right, remember the word, it is joining two sentences or Two clauses actually. Eventually he made it. He was struggling in the beginning. But later somehow. Eventually he made it. Maria went left instead. Going right. Two phrase. Maria went left. Going right. It doesn't make any sense. There is no. So you know, uh, the subject and the verb. It is only the subject or the verb there. So it is also joining two phrases. Instead is conjunctive here. Sri was working very hard. Finally, he cracked his civil services. So finally, he made it. I went to college. Since no one was there, I came back home. I went to college. Since nobody was there, I came back home. So there are seven types of adverbs. As I told you, five main adverbs. But to be on a safer side, I have added two more and in your examination, they are not going to ask you to fill up the blanks, but they would ask you to underline and identify and write them in your answer script and those will be the adverbs. So these are the previous year's questions.
these questions were asked in the year 2019 october and november identify the adverbs in the following sentences so this would be your question so they would give you an instruction asking you to identify them identifying in the sense what should you do the first thing in marbeko should you write this complete sentence and then underline only the adverb or should you just choose the adverb and write it in the answer script i would say to be on a safer side nan matte helta idini neevu just ee sentence na nodibittu adverb yavudu anta baradre sakagutta athwa complete sentence na baradu adana underline maadbeka what should you do if you ask me to be on a safer side write the complete sentence and underline it innu safer agi irbeka if you want to be even safer underline it and below that sentence you write answer adverb is so and so word right now the, in the first sentence they were walking slowly i am going to talk about adverbs first and then i will be talking about other grammatical units here so in this sentence slowly is the adverb then what about walking were and they i will talk about it later once i finish solving these questions so each question will would be carrying one mark it will be carrying one mark and this will be asked for four marks i met him often for business matters i met him often or often right so how frequently frequency yes to yavaga meet martha idai this is adverb of frequency ramu reads quickly adverb of manner quickly it is quickly seema meets you later adverb of time yavaga not now maybe later right now we got to know four answers so this is how you are going to answer your questions in your examination don't round up rather you can underline it but remember there will be lines so don't underline it on the margin line there don't ever do that so in to be on a safer side you can just rewrite it put it in a block if you are writing the complete sentence complete sentence bardidde aadre adana block alli haaki round up maadi but don't round up the way i have done it innu safer agi irbeku antandre just to adverbs anta heli full sentence bardad mele kelagade answer so adverb is slowly here slowly anta bariri you can't do it the reason is even a single marks will be considered it is very important as i told you what about the other grammatical parts here they is subject they is subject were is auxiliary verb or helping verb walking is the main verb so likewise if you want to develop your grammar i'm just giving you an extra tip or idea to develop your grammar while solving one grammatical part you can go on questioning what are the other grammatical parts you can see in the sentence neevu onde ondu iga imagine maadkoli adverbs bage matra maatartta idini but i also spoke about subject you got to know what is a subject what is the auxiliary verb it is helping verb and what is the main verb so at least one sulpa one 5% adru namge other grammatical parts bage gotagide might be it is a sort of a brushing up i am brushing up your old previous knowledge so likewise you can take up other grammatical parts content which will be very easy for you i know most of the people they come from kannada medium background and they still struggle a lot to pick up their english language but without practice you cannot pick it up and those who come from cbsc and and those who are good at grammar you can just brush up your old knowledge so this is how we can solve and make it easy and it will definitely help you to retain and remember for the longer time and i keep telling you i have already told you in my introductory class that the syllabus which is prescribed in your language component will definitely help you for other competitive examinations as well mark my words language component is very important don't take it light so this is the end of this session i am going to talk about other grammatical parts or other language components which is prescribed in your 
third semester and today I have discussed one of the language components which is prescribed for third semester BA, BCA, BCOM and BBA and as I have told you language component is one and the same for all the four courses third semester. I will be meeting you in my next session with new language component until then take up lot of examples from the textbook or maybe from the uh, material which is available in the internet and practice it until then keep practicing have a good day take care